Ladies and gentlemen, this is Intervlog. I say this is Intervlog, and I am here once more. I'm here because there is one important information that I brought to you today, and this information is unbelievable. I say this information is unbelievable, and it is the type of information that you will always remember in the next 10 years, 15 years, 20 years, including 100 years, if you have time to live up to that extent. You would ask me, what is that information all about? Well, the information is about Sahel, and the information is a good information. This information is something that anybody who lives in either Burkina Faso, Mali, and Niger was supposed to celebrate about because the information is a good news. And you would ask me, what is it? Well, before I go further and explain the real topic of this information, I will have to go into detail of what happened five months ago, because the importance of this information is about what happened months ago. And what am I talking about? Well, I'm talking about that during the time when ECOWAS gave Mali Burkina Faso under Niger sanction and prohibit them from using their seaport. Even their electrical power that supply light to some parts of Niger was cut off from Nigeria because of that sanction. Since then, Sahel Alliance has been looking for a country that has a sea. All of a sudden, boom. They found it on 2nd August 2024. That country happened to be Algeria. The good news here is that Algeria has endorsed Ibrahim Traore Asimi Koita and Generala Tiana. Algeria has endorsed Sahel Alliance, and that is very, very beautiful. Algeria, on 2nd of August 2024, being on Friday, sent her new ambassador to Burkina Faso for a reconciliation and for a creation of Corporation and Development Agency that will help Algeria and also help Burkina Faso, Mali, and Niger. The reasons of Algerian government is a beautiful reason. For some of you who do not know, Algeria has a problem of militancy in the southern Algeria. This southern Algeria is where the boundary of Mali and Niger is situated. In order for Algeria to defeat their militants, they need cooperation of Mali and Niger. Because what the Reb do in Alger is, the Rebs will go to Alger, commit time, and came to Mali and Niger to reside. The same thing is happening in Niger and Mali. Some rebel from Tuareg will go to Niger, and Mali commit one thing or the other and run to Algeria. Because these two countries are not in unity, they use it as a tactic. Then Alger president said, This is no more going to happen anymore. We are going to build a corporation with our brothers called the Corporation and Development Agency. Then both of us will be fighting all these bad guys that are causing problem in both Sahel and the southern Algeria, and this is how it happened. Bilateral cooperation. Algiers renews its commitment to Ouagadougou. Ouagadougou, August 2nd, 2024. The Minister of Foreign Affairs of Regional Cooperation and Burkina Bay Foreign Affairs, SEM Karamoko, Jean-Marie Traoré received in audience the ambassador of the Democratic and People's Republic of Algeria, SEM Selma Mansouri, on Friday, August 2, 2024. During this hearing, the two personalities exchanged on areas of common interest in connection with the bilateral cooperation between Burkina Faso and the Democratic and Popular Algerian Republic. We mentioned Algeria's contribution to Burkina Faso in terms of sharing experience in the fight against militancy, said the Algerian diplomat. She adds that this support in the security area will be accompanied by development actions through a cooperation and development agency that her country plans to set up, while stating that all support through this agency will be done according to the priorities and needs that will be expressed by the Burkinabe government. This move was appreciated by the Burkinabe head of diplomacy, who explains that this is the current view of the Burkinabe authorities towards partners in view of offers that do not always match the needs. SEM Karamoko. Jean-Marie Traore also emphasized the need for South-South cooperation to be thought about South and not elsewhere, because he says, we have gray matter for that. And to give a new impetus to the cooperation between Burkina Faso and Algeria, 
the two personalities recognize the need to revive the Joint Cooperation Commissions, which constitute frameworks to address in depth the areas of cooperation. The Algerian diplomat on the occasion of this hearing thanked the head of the Burkinabe diplomacy for the exchanges he had with the diplomatic body on August 1, 2024, because in her opinion, this allowed diplomats, especially those recently accredited to Burkina Faso, to be in the fragrance of the dynamic AES. She also expressed her congratulations and conveyed those of the Algerian Foreign Affairs Minister to SEM Karamoko Jean-Marie Traore and Mrs. Stella Eldine Cabre Cabore for their reinstatement in the new government. After listening to this news, I became very happy. The reason is that in order for Mali, Burkina Faso, and Niger to conquer all these rebels, including the Tuareg militants, they needed Alger. And this is a very beautiful thing. First reason. The second reason is the sea. Now Mali, Burkina Faso, and Niger, known as Sahel, have access to the sea directly from Algeria. Very beautiful. And this will teach us a lesson. The lesson is that don't be proud of what you have, because whatever you have, was given to you by God. When you came into this life, you never knew that you will have what you have. So when you have it, don't use it to punish the other. What do I mean? What I mean is that Ecowaz knew that Sahel does not have access to the sea, and then they block them, give them sanction, and tell them to suffer, because they knew that northern Libya is unpenetrated area for them because northern Libya is controlled by France and the United States, while the southern Libya is controlled by Putin. Therefore, these people do not have access to the sea. Therefore, when ECOWAS gave Sahel alliance sanction, they thought that there was no way these people could survive this sanction. But to look at what is going on, things have turned good for them. Doors began to open from the first day the sanction was given to them. Because since that day, China, Russia, Venezuela, Cuba, Iran, Turkey, Morocco, southern Libya, many, many countries have come to endorse them. And this is beautiful because they had seen that Sahel did not commit any crime by telling France not to collect commission from Niger Republic from their mining. Because each kilogram of mine that goes out from Niger, France has a big commission from that mine. And the Niger was one of the poorest countries then why France is one of the richest country in the world now. How would a rich man, very, very rich and tough, be collecting money from the poorest? And Eco was viewed all the things, but still said, no, that they are going to restore their constitutional order to enforce both Ibrahim Traoré, Assouma Koita, and General Atiyane out of office and restore democracy. That democracy will bring back France. But when the BRICS countries saw this, they said, this is not a good thing, that the Sahel Alliance are fighting a good fight. Then they began to endorse them. Now, Algeria has come to give them total endorsements. They don't need anybody anymore. If they don't want to go back to Isowas, they can live forever now like this because they have access to the sea. Thank you very much for watching. This is Intervlog. 